Hello my bunnies, it's Tiki Trinkets here and today I have for you another polymer clay tutorial. I promised to have this up last week on Friday, but I ended up having to do it this week on Wednesday just because my fiance's birthday was on Friday and then I work on the weekend so I just kind of got lost with the time. So I just wasn't able to get it up for Friday. But it is going up today. This is a collaboration with The Amazing Bonnie. She also did a Steven Universe type video. She made five total sculptures in the time it took me to make this one. So that's really impressive. She made Connie, Steven, I'm trying to remember everybody. The main thing was a fusion, fusion. So she made Alexandrite, Pearl, and she made them in their new like uniforms and Amethyst. I was trying to remember who she made. She didn't make Garnet, so I'm surprised there. But, you know, it just depends on who your favorite characters are. And I would have made that many, but I just can't make things that quickly. It just takes me a little more time. Maybe it's just my perfectionism. And I'm still not entirely happy with this. I mean, she looks good, but I hate the second set of eyes. They just look so out of place compared to everything else. I should have just made them out of clay, but I wasn't sure how I'd make the angles instead of making it like a circle. Circle's easy, you just poke a dotting to one side inside of it, but doing something angled like that, that's like a half circle. I don't have any cutters like that, so it just, I don't know, I just decided against it. But anyways, let me give you a quick little spin around and then we'll go into, to, into the tutorial. And I did use a sparkly teal, a sparkly pearl teal. I say it in the beginning of the video, but you could use like whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be sparkly. I'm just literally extra. And the base is also a glittery, pearly yellow. Again, you can just use plain yellow or you can use pink. I did yellow because on her original outfit, well, her first forms, not just her first form, her first and second form had the yellow star. I don't think her new one actually has a star on it anywhere, but I guess that's to symbolize freedom. But I just wanted to make it a yellow star. All right, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I just wanted to do a video intro real quick of the clay colors you will need because this tutorial requires so many colors. Starting in the front, we need white. I don't have any small packs of white right now, so I'm back to the big pack. Then we need yellow. Then we need lilac. You need like a minty color or a teal color. I had teal pearl, so that's what I'm going to use for pearls. Oh, excuse me, rainbow quartz jacket, not pearl. <laughs> a blue jean type color. I think they even make a blue denim color that would probably work better. And then a ballerina pink. I can't remember the pink of this, but it's like a medium pink shade. Pearly pink and red. Alright, let's go into this tutorial now. Alright, to start out this tutorial, I got a star base to glue her to when I'm done. And the blue denim -y kind of color. I went on ahead and pre-rolled all the blue balls I'd need. I need the largest one as an inch in diameter and the other two at a half an inch in diameter. Then I rolled them all into teardrop shapes. I'm trying to make my videos more compressed and easier. That way it's not too busy. So hopefully this will still be easy to understand. Then I cut the legs at a bias and then the bottom part at a flat part. Then I just smushed the round part to the surface so it's flat on the bottom and then pushed the little leg pieces on where the bias were. Then I just cut the top parts off so that it'd be flat at the end. I did cut this a little bit shorter later. So go ahead and cut about a little more of that off. Maybe a little less than a half. Next I took the red color clay and I rolled out the balls I would need, which is just one for just Steven's shirt. And I just rolled this into a teardrop shape. And then after I rolled it into a teardrop shape, I just I mean, cut the... Sorry, my mom's yeah. in the room. I just cut the top and the bottom off. <laughs> then after that, I just took the yellow clay. And this is just to make the star on the shirt. So you're only going to need one ball here as well. And then just roll it out as workably flat as possible. <coughs> and then I just use the star shape cutter to cut out a star shape. If not, you can just cut it off with your exacto blade. And this is what we have so far. Next, we're going to go into the ballerina pink color, which is this very light pink color right here. And I pre-rolled all the balls I would need. You could probably just pause this here so you can roll out all the balls. 
or just, you know, screenshot it. Something to make it easy for you. Then we're going to start with this ball first. Sorry I sounded weird there. I had like a hiccup in my throat and it made me kind of loud. <laughs> then I just pre-rolled this into like a fat little teardrop shape but not quite pointed at the top. And then I just cut out the top and the bottom to make it kind of a really narrow flat piece. Which I stuck onto the pants of the body. And then I stuck the shirt on top because she has her little belly hanging out. <laughs> I know that sounded funny. Then I went on ahead and stuck a metal wire inside of her for the structure of it. That also sounded awful. <laughs> Next I'm going to make her neck. So we're going to take this ball in the middle right here. And you're just going to roll this into a teeny tiny pointed teardrop shape. Like so. And then after that, all you're going to want to do is take your exacto blade and cut the bottom off so it'll be flat on the bottom. Just like this. You can cut off the top if you want it, or you can just leave it pointed like that. It's fine either way. And then I just took it and stuck it on the metal piece to where the metal still hangs out just a little bit. And then I just smushed it down so it would be nice and firm against the body. Next, we are going on to her legs. I have some pictures cut out here, and I don't know why, but you're going to roll these into teardrop shapes. And then you're just going to cut them on the tops and the bottoms and stick them to the legs just like this. I don't even know why I had these two pieces cut right here. Like, I don't know what that was for. But I left the picture in there just so I could use the time to talk over what I needed to say. Next, we're using the largest ball. This is her head. So you're going to roll this into an oblong kind of shape. Kind of like an egg. Then on the more narrow end, press down against your work surface so it'll indent it. Kind of like a cylindrical kind of shape on the top. And it'll be flat on the back. Just like that. And then just take your finger and smooth it out if there's any like rough spot. After that, just flip it around, take a dotting tool, and poke two holes where you want the eyes to be. And next we're going to move on to her nose. So we're going to use the smallest ball of pink we had up here. And you're just going to roll this into a teeny tiny pointed teardrop shape. And then you're just going to cut the bottom end off, similar to what we did before. Just like this. And then you're going to stick the, stick the flat end onto her face, like so. After that, we're going to do her mouth, so you're going to take your exacto, cool, exacto tool and very carefully cut out the shape you want her mouth to be in. I gave her a big cheesy smile, and then use the exacto blade to dig out the excess, and then use a ball tool to smooth the inside of her mouth out like I did. Then I just put her on the base, make sure everything was fitting the way I liked it, and put her head on. And next, now we're going on to her hands. So you just roll these little balls that we had prior into two teardrop shapes and smush them down nice and flat. Then use the exacto blade to indent the little fingers. Yes, I don't give my characters the amount of fingers they need. I'm just a little lazy with fingers. And then just go ahead and cut the pointed parts off so it'll be flat. You still get the gist of the character even if they're missing a few fingers, but I'm just lazy. Next, I moved on to the lilac purple, and I just took a one little ball to start with. And rolled it out into a ball and then pressed it flat with my hand. I'm all over the place in this tutorial. <laughs> then I stuck it on the back of the head and just very carefully smoothed it into the head with my finger and my exacto blade. Then I pre-rolled a bunch of other balls with the lilac color. These four right here. And we're going to start with the two on the left and the right. These are going to be part of her hair. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and roll these into very chubby teardrop shapes. Just like this. Then using your fingers, just press them down very gently so they'll stay round on top, but flat on the bottom. Just like so. These are going to be the side pieces of her hair, so I just took some kind of tool. I had a special tool, which you can use an X-Acto blade to just make it look kind of curved. Use the reference picture for her hair. Her hair is very extra. Then I stuck these both on the side. Right now, she kind of looks more like... Gosh, she looks like an old man than she does her. <laughs> And here's another angle so you can see the hair a little better. Next, we're going to do the top part of her hair. So you're just going to take another one of those balls, roll it into a teardrop shape, press it down just like we did before. And then you're just going to stick this on the top of her head and curl the piece back up towards her nose. You see the little curl in the back? That's the little curl I'm talking about. Now we're going to take the last ball of lilac purple and... Again, we're going to do the same thing and roll it into a teardrop shape, just like this. And then after you get done with that, you're going to take it and press it down gently with the palm of your hand, the center of the palm of your hand, so to stay round on the top and flat on the bottom. Then just cut the round part off and stick it to the back of the head. 
voila, on the bottom part. I'm not sure if this is exactly how the back of her hair looks, but I took some artistic liberties here, but it still looks adorable. Next, we're going to make her shoes, and we're going to need the pink pearly clay. Then we're only going to need two small balls, and they're less than a half an inch in diameter, so they're really small. And just roll these into chubby teardrop shapes, more like an egg shape rather than a teardrop. And then just do like we did prior, take it with the center of your hand very gently pressed down so it'll be round on the top, but flat on the bottom. It should look like this when you're done. Then taking the rounder part, stick it to the back of her ankles, and just make sure you smooth it on there nice and tight with a blending tool or your finger, and voila, cute little shoes. Easy enough for that part, right? Now we're going to make her jacket, so you're going to need the teal colored clay, or mint. It would be better to have mint, but I didn't have anything too close to mint, but it's fine. And I pre-rolled the three balls I would need, then I rolled out the big one nice and flat, and again I lost an image, but I just cut it out into a square shape and then wrapped it around the body, just like this, to make her jacket. Just take a long blade and cut literally a square shape that's small enough to wrap around her body. Then I took the other ball and I rolled them out nice and flat. And then I cut, well, this is from the scraps, not from the other balls. I just cut these into these little triangle, double triangle shapes right here. I just put one on top of the other to cut out the second one so they'd be the same size. Then I pulled them apart and stuck them to the jacket, just like that. Use a reference photo, it'll help you out so much with this. Now we're going on to the other two balls. I don't know why I thought the other ones were from that. It was from the scrap pieces of the excess cutout. This is what happens when you lose images. <laughs> then I just rolled these into really long snake shapes. And then just pretty much cut it in half. And then I took the halves that were more rounded and flat at the bottom. And then cut the little nibs off the top. And bent them at an angle. These will be her arms. And then for both hands, or for both arms, I used my dotting tool to indent the inside so the hands would fit on both arms and stuck them on the body how I wanted them. She's going to be kind of cuddling her umbrella so that's why I posed her arms like this. Next I took the medium color pink clay. This is going to be her umbrella and I also took a toothpick. Then I just rolled out a very long teardrop shape like so and then I just took a blade and just cut the bottom off just like that. And then you take the toothpick and very slowly and carefully stick it through the pointed, well, the flat part of this umbrella. Voila, but leave some hanging out. Then I just take a long blade or any kind of blade or any kind of tool and just indent lines so it looks more like an umbrella. And then I decided how I wanted her to hold it and I just positioned it in her arms. Voila, now we have an umbrella. Next we're going to go ahead and move on to the white. Sorry, I was getting a sip of coffee. <laughs> And I just used this pat, like I said, because it's all I had at the time. And we're just going to make her eyes and her mouth, well, her teeth with this. First, I just took two little balls and just stuck them right in the eye socket. And voila, now you have eyes. But for the third one, I rolled it into a little log shape, just like this. And I just popped it inside the empty hole for her mouth to give her teeth, just like this. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so all over the place today. Then I took my X-Acto blade and just indented the teeth. I made it too anatomically correct. That's another thing that bothers me, but it's whatever. Then I had these pearl beads that I got from, no, Michael's. And I just used that to be her pearl on her head, and then I took it off because it's plastic. You could just make one out of pearl colored clay. Do whatever you feel. Then I just took my rubbing alcohol and Q-tips and cleaned off all the little bits of dirt and gunk off of her took several cotton swabs but she looks so much better because of it then go ahead and bake her at 350 degrees for 12 minutes in a gas mo oven or 9 minutes in an electric oven while she was baking well after she was done I went on ahead and painted the base or you can do it while she's baking and just paint it whatever color then I did the pupils of the eyes again I can never get this right the iris of the eyes I have no idea and just painted those blue then I used a paint marker to paint on her lower eyes which I still regret <laughs> I regret it so much then I used E6000 to glue her to her base after I glued her to her base I took white acrylic paint and painted the umbrella stick with a small teeny weeny paintbrush 
And then I took my black acrylic paint and a dotting tool to make the pupils for the lower eyes, for Stephen's quote unquote eyes, and just made like little oval shapes just like this. Still hate these eyeballs. I don't, it's the artist thing. You never, you're never satisfied. Then I took a paint pen and did the outlines of her eyes because it just needed to be more defined and it's now too defined. And then I just took my polyurethane floor varnish, polyacrylic, whatever, and glazed her. And after two coats and letting it cure, this is her completely finished. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos by me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, my bunnies.